Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Shoshana and on my channel I create lifestyle videos, home decor, DIYs, cleaning motivation and tons more. If you're interested, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe. So today I am participating in the Look For Less Challenge hosted by my good friend here on YouTube, Yami from the Latina Next Door. So she hosts these challenges every single season or monthly. So this is the first month of the year that she is hosting the Look For Less Challenge. And if you're not familiar with the Look For Less Challenge, it's basically where you look for an expensive item and you create it on the cheap. So today, my Look For Less Challenge is going to be a pottery barn dupe. I love these ceramic looking vases. They are extremely popular. They're all over Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube. And I wanted to go ahead and create one for myself. So let's get into the video and you will see what I create. Even if you tried, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside. Okay guys, so like I said, this is the Pottery Barn um, vase that I absolutely fell in love with. I just love the structure of it and it is $129, okay? I love the way that this vase looks. I love the coloring. I love the structure and the texture. So this glass vase, you guys that are subscribed to me, already know what this vase is y'all seen it so many times but I just wanted to change up the look a bit because I am going for the more yeah. European farmhouse style in my home and I wanted to add just that touch of Tuscany or that touch of European flair in my home so I've seen these vases all over you know YouTube and Pinterest and Instagram and I wanted to try it out I've also seen Yami um, she did it in her I believe it was her last video Video, her last two videos and I just love the way that it turned out and I decided that I was going to go ahead and give it a try. So as you see I am pouring some baking soda in the paint that I am going to be using. It's actually the cashew paint from Waverly and I got it from Walmart. Um, I had all these um, items already I didn't purchase anything for this project I already had my vase the paint baking soda everything so I just went ahead and I was mixing it now the texture that I wanted was like a cementy type of texture I didn't want it to be too liquidy um, I wanted to be really texturized because once I placed it on the vase I almost wanted to get like a cement stone finish and y'all it looked absolutely incredible I love the way that it turned out and I am so going to be doing this to just about every glass vase that I have and this is kind of the textures that, that I wanted to show you what it is it's very thick it makes it looks like stone it makes it look very texturized it just gives it that European flair now when I started out I wanted to do it like sort of semi halfway up about three quarters of the way um, up on this phase and then you're going to see quickly that I changed my mind and I just started to do the entire vase because I thought that it looked better so I am going to leave you here so that you can um, see the process and then I will jump back in You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave Run away someday, someday.
so now I just wanted to add some contrast and some definition to this vase and I wanted to add like some darker tones I wanted to add browns but I didn't have any so I'm just using the paint that I have on hand which is um, this silver I think it's silver lace if I'm correct, um, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> Silver Lace from Waverly and Elephant from Waverly. Um, I am just going to be kind of mixing them together in order to get, um, you know, the texture. And then I'm using this stencil brush. At first I started using it and I just did not like the way that it was coming out. I was dipping it in the white because I wanted that contrast. I wanted that definition and I wanted the different variations of colors. So I was using this, um, stencil brush to, go ahead and put on the white and then I just did not like the way that it turned out so I just went ahead and I went to town using my paintbrush and y'all I love the way that my paintbrush worked on this vase it just texturized it it gave it that old world charm that I am looking for and I just I love it I think this is probably one of my favorite favorite DIYs to date I love the way that it turned out it looks just like stone and I am just I'm just loving it you guys Yes, I am showing you dirt. <laughs> so I wanted to add like an aged look to the vase so that I can have that old world charm to it. So I went ahead and I got some soil from my garden and I am just rubbing it all over this vase, which is going to give me that aged look that I am looking for. And it, it basically turned this vase, it took it to another level. I mean the dimensions and the texture that you can see through the coloring of the soil it's just incredible the way that this thing turned out it actually turned out a lot better than I thought that it was going to be and I am so excited that I was able to do this um, I was inspired by so many people and Yami you you just inspire me all the time um, and I was super inspired when you did this um, project on your channel and I just love the way that it turned out so you guys this is what the end result is I love it so much I think I mean look at it it just has like all the definition it looks like stone all the color variations it looks like an old world piece like it's antique it just oh my gosh I just love it I love it so much. I love the way that it turned out and I am obsessed with this vase. I mean, to the point of where, yes, I am going to be creating another one. I have tons of vases that's laying around in my home and I'm going to create so many more for my home. As you can see, my kids are home from school and they're just all up in the background. So <laughs> I do apologize for that, but this is my entryway um, foyer and I went ahead and I placed this piece on my entryway table. And I just think that it looks so much better than the original glass 
vase that was there it just fits right in it looks it looks european oh it's so rich and i love the way that it just ties in with that farmhouse feel that i'm going for even with the candlesticks it just ties in and it's i'm 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 feeling like European, I'm feeling chic, you know, I'm feeling like France or Paris, like all the vibes, right? So I wanted to go ahead and give you a side by side of my Pottery Barn dupe and my dupe. So my Pottery Barn uh, vase was $129.99, oh my gosh, and my dupe was for free. So let me know, did I achieve the look for less? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, Yami, I want to thank you so much for allowing uh, me to be a part of this awesome, awesome challenge. I am super excited about it and I just enjoyed every minute of it. This is one of my favorite, favorite DIYs that I have done to date. And I am so excited that I am able to share it here on this challenge. So thank you so much, girl, for having me. And I want to let you guys know that Yami, Yami's channel will be linked down in the description box below as well as the playlist. Make sure to go ahead and add your video if you are participating and if you're not just go ahead and enjoy and binge watch this playlist because it's going to be fantabulous. So again I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It is always free. Double tap that bell so that you receive all my notifications and don't forget to go ahead give this video a thumbs up and and leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.